I seen you do that video with, with uh, Gucci. Yeah. Is that like a, a big decision that you're going to actually like go out of your way to do a feature with a big artist? Um, mm, That wasn't my decision. Really? Like it was just like my manager hit me up and sent me a beat and a song. Right. Well, not, I'm talking, I'm slow. I'm talking about a beat and a song. He sent me a beat and was like, all right, do this, uh -huh. basically. Like, and around that time, he kept talking about Gucci. Like, he always just tell me him and Gucci was, like, friends and shit. So uh -huh. I'm just like, you know, all right. And then, like, shit, sent it to him. He like, this shit's fire. So I'm just like, all right. He said it's fire. Right. He told me to leave open verse. I left open verse. So I kind of had a feeling he was going to do something with it, but I didn't know what he was doing. Really? And he just sent it back. And then I read the title that bit was like Gucci. And I was like, Gucci. Type of shit. Played that bit. And I was like, what the fuck? Damn. I was like, what the fuck? It was a weird feeling. It was just weird, bro. This shit was just crazy because like this is this a motherfucker. I was sitting on TV when I was little. Like right. I don't read this man book. Like You read that too. Yeah, like nice. so it's like I like what the fuck? Like this Gucci man. <laughs> it's crazy being around him because it's like you're so larger than life to me that it's almost kind of weird like being in your presence because I've like devoted so much time in my life listening to your shit, watching your videos, watching interviews, whatever. I like, say he's like larger than life to me. Nah, he's kind of <laughs> like, larger he's than life though. to me. He's a yeah. legend, but like, like life is a gift, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Life is a gift. Like, but I mean, what, what was it like being around him? Like, what type of time was, was he on? Feel real. Yeah, he ain't feel real because like. You know how sometimes, like, he the bigger artist. So if anything, you'll be like, oh, what's up, man? I'm such and such. Right. Like, you trying to introduce yourself. You trying to get a motherfucker attention or something. Like, mm. it wasn't like that. Like, it was like when I saw him, he was like, what's up, J-Dot? I was like, what the fuck? Right. I'm like, what's up, Gucci? He but you got to think about, too, that Gucci sees himself as, like, a CEO. He's trying to do the label thing. He's been signing people for however many years now and everything. So he... I think he yeah, he, he wants to be tapped in with the streets. He pays attention to what's going yeah, on with the underground and shit. Sure. Too. So he like, um, I'm like, what's up, Gucci? He like, shit. He just asking me shit. Like, we just regular chopping it up. Like, but holds him back in my mind. I'm like, bro, like, what the fuck? Gucci I'm really main Lafleur. Yeah, like I'm having a fucking conversation. Like, real deal, standing in front of this nigga. Like, this is a nigga my daddy used to listen to. Mm. You feel me? Like, this is a nigga that more older old heads listen to for generations. Like. What the fuck? And I'm in front of this nigga having a regular conversation. Like, Gucci Mane LaFleur, millionaire, but don't get no cares. Tote my pistol everywhere. <laughs> Go to war with a grizzly bear. Something like that. I probably fucked it up. I don't know. Yeah, well, Gucci a legend for sure, though. For sure. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'm fucking with the music, man. Good luck with everything coming out and everything. Everybody at home should go tap in, turn up the Spotify, the YouTube, everything like that. For sure, for sure. J Dot Breezy on everything. J D O T B R E E Z Y. Let's go. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.